We've heard of Jacques Cousteau. We've heard of Dr. Robert Ballard. But the world hasn't heard of Nathaniel Craffey. For me, I've always had a desire to be in the water, which is why if I was given the opportunity to travel the Earth's ocean, I would grab it in a heartbeat. From an early age, my mother encouraged me to take swimming lessons, to practice swimming, because she never had the opportunity to learn how to swim as a child. For my father, he supported me through every ridiculous obstacle, through every absurd project, through every challenge that I wanted to face. Before, before his untimely death, he told me that he was proud of the man I was becoming. After his death, I had a lot of depression locked up inside. At times, I felt cold, I felt alone, and I really couldn't see the light anywhere in my life until I went to the Florida Keys. hired for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I got to kayak, canoe, snorkel, deep sea fish, and even dive on a weekly basis in the Atlantic Ocean. All the stuff that I got to see was extremely serene, and nothing else has warmed my heart as much as that experience. I got to see sharks tearing up their prey. I got to see stingrays glide through the water like birds. I saw sea turtles approach me closer than ever before. And I just saw so many other things. During my time in the Florida Keys, a phrase was passed around the workplace. The difference between an ordeal and an adventure is your attitude. You can drown yourself in sorrow, but the ocean continues to move on with or without you. In order to go with the motion of the ocean, you need to swim in order to float. I still miss my dad, but I have since then found peace. I'm happy now, and to my last breath, I know that the ocean will be a part of my life.